We're going to show you how to create a collage using Canva. So we're going to create a design. Um, this is pretty much free. There's some paid things. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. You know, you can do Google Photo, YouTube thumbnail, all that stuff. Really good website for design. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just pick a layout um, just to make my little collage here and there. I'm just going to pick, uh, you know, just going to do that. Like if I was going to talk about my math teacher and, you know, down here, I'm just going to drag it in. Um, it'll definitely put it in and I can resize it and stuff later. I can crop it. Put a filter on it. Um, I'll put drama filter. I don't know why, but I'm just going to do that. Um, and then at the bottom, I could put three evidence of like what I learned. You know, if I did like the Pythagorean theorem, so on and so forth. All right, this could just be a nice opener instead of um, just an iMovie slide. And when I'm ready to download it, I just hit my PNG file. It comes down. And just to give you an idea of a different collage, photo collage, even though the bottom three are not finished, I'm just doing this for time. You get the idea um, of what you need to do. And then I have a PNG file. The other one that would need to be screen recorded is Mixbook. And with Mixbook, it's real easy. I'm going to go ahead and show you an example and I'll let you figure out the rest. But it, Mixbook kind of makes it look like scrapbooking online. And I am going to use my, you know, Screencast-O-Matic or ScreenFlow or uh, Screencastify. However I want to capture this, it really doesn't matter as long as I capture it. And then this is good for my final portfolio or project, like what I learned in middle school. And then I, I just use my cursor and I turn the page. You know, it's just a book. I communicate with others, negotiate businesses. I put my pictures in there. And it's a nice little, you know, scrapbook. I can make it full screen. And obviously, if I need to edit. So once I have this layout, and I can go through how many pages. Maybe I only want to do a page or two for just one teacher. I just want to have one teacher, um, you know, one photo in there. I just drag it in after I add photos to my page. Okay. And I put them in there. And then I reorder them, I can filter them, whatever. Um, if I need text, layout, stickers, backgrounds, whatever it might need, they're all, I can zoom in, so on and so forth. It's just kind of neat. You can just do a little sticker, I don't know. And then I can preview it, and when I preview it, it should take me to full screen, which I could do right here. And then this is where I would actually, if the next button's not working, then I should just flip the page. Okay, it's no big deal. But that's where you would want to screen record in full screen.